Jerry! Ben! Phone! Where's the phone? Ben. You all right? Thanks, yeah. So it was Tom. I'll talk to you later, okay? Someone here. Mr. Gundlach. Detective Sergeant Ian Corneille. Oh, hey. This won't take long. Have a seat. Want tea? You having one? I'd love one. Received your notes from officers at the scene. Quite a shock. Yeah. He was, uh. God, um. Tom lived across the road with his mum. And he used to come here. Yeah, yeah, my. Daughter Tash babysat him like two, three afternoons a week. Jess, Tom's mum, works part time, so it gives. <sighs> gave her a break. You want milk? Black. Babysat here? Yeah, yeah, here and there. She has a key. Couldn't sleep. Hey, pup. You weren't going for a run this morning, your wife said. Oh, no, no. You, I usually only run every second day, yeah. But no, I couldn't sleep. Why is that? I had a few drinks last night, so I wanted to run them off. Dark at that time. Well, I know the track pretty well, so... Even after a few drinks? Yeah. Well, you're very lucky. You didn't break your neck when you came across him. I don't feel particularly lucky. Of course. How did you know? What? How did you know he was dead? It was dark, it was wet. Out the back of his head. So you moved the body. Yeah, I tried to resuscitate him. And was that before or after you felt the back of his head? Before. Oh, 
It's okay, sweetie. It's my youngest daughter. Ava! It's okay. Honey, this is Detective Cor Cornell. Do you know what happened? That's where he's gonna find out. He needs reminding of the rules. Yeah. And the rent. And the pool's a mess. Yeah, he's sorting himself out. No, he's your friend. You should sort him out. Why do I have to take my clothes? I'm sure it's just normal procedure. That poor woman. Are you okay? We gotta say something. Ben. Well, I found him. Jess? Mr. Gundelak. What? Jess. dead in bushland not far from the Brisbane River. The body of Thomas Manane was discovered within walking distance of his home by a jogger early this morning. The boy's mother had been unaware he'd gone missing in the early hours. Cause of death has not been released, but homicide detectives were on the scene. Police appeal for anyone who may have seen the child to come forward. The federal opposition... Famous. Don't talk to them. Long time resident and neighbor. I can't believe Tommy's dead. Are you okay? Look, there's a house. Said no immediate details of the case can be released at this stage until the state coroner determines the cause of death. However, police are treating the death as suspicious. It's police boiling. Yeah, we're not made of money. Anyone with information sure. to contact. Right, I'll give them a bell right now. Yeah, I'll call you and let you know how it goes. Bye. Are you going to tell me? About the gauntlet out there? I just got home myself. It feels OK? I don't know. I saw Eva fiddling with the window lock. Yeah, we should talk to them. I'd rather you looked at the locks. Well, we gotta say something. What is there to say? That there's someone out there killing kids? Hey, 
Hiya. Hey! It's like a bikini kill concert out there. All angry chicks, sponsors in makeup. <laughs> Thanks for cleaning the pool, mate. Well, I did get the hint when Christy gave me the hairy eyeball. Mm. About this morning, mate. Mm. We overslept. No, just try not to let the girls see it, will you? Or at least pretending to raise them right. Poor little kid, eh? Mm. Whoever did that to him. I don't know, maybe if I'd run faster, I would have got there quicker, I could have stopped it. I'll catch the bastard. Yeah. You all right? No. Thanks for asking. Okay, we better talk about Tom. Do we have to? He's dead. Tess. I don't want to talk about it. It's macabre what happened. I don't want to eat. Listen. They don't know who did it, do they? No, not yet. But whoever it is is probably a long way away by now. Just don't go out by yourself, okay? We are still going to do the tree. The Christmas tree and the Christmas lunch. I don't think we should be talking about Christmas right now. Good talk. happened this morning just like I said that's all yeah what do you mean nothing I've always said you shouldn't go running on that track. Oh, come on. Someone else could have. Well, it was me. Malcolm's fine for after Christmas. I don't want to talk about your brother. He's happy to take me and the girls next week. No, Jesus. Let's. Let's just have one last Christmas together. We agreed on that.
Hi, this is Jess. Mum's a jam head. And Tom, please leave. Mum's a bread head. Leave a message. Mm -hmm. No running today. Kitty? Oh, shit. Sorry, mate. Hey, listen, I'm a little behind on this house I'm painting today. You want to give me a hand? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, mate, but I'm in the middle of rewriting this song. Sony's pretty interested. What about? Hello, Ben. Vanessa. Where are you going, you poor man? What's going on? Oh, the police won't let them take our rubbish. They want to go through our bins. Let them. Really? I suppose so. Uh, he's running late for work. Well, hurry up, you two. How do I look? Like a slut? Eva, it's too late to get changed now. You guys come with me or Mum? Mum, I'll go with you. You can both come with me. I'll drop you off. Well, I can pick you guys up. On, we can catch the bus. I'm not catching the bus. Jesus. All right, just ignore me. How does your family feel? Are you worried about your own children? Mr. Gunnelot? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Of course. Do you want to... Would you come with me, please? Uh, Mr. Gundler. Sure. Sure. Call me. Yeah, I'm good. What are you...? Uh, well, Christy called me. Well, I don't need a lawyer. Well, maybe not this lawyer, but you, you need a lawyer who does more than divorces and conveyancing. Now, there's a crim law specialist named Judland. I'm just here to answer questions. If... They want a DNA sample. Mine? Do you want to give one? Well, I don't know. Well, we can stall. Was Tom... Did someone interfere with Tom sexually? No, thank God. Then why? Why, why are they... And now I found him. Mm. I tried to resuscitate him. Look, Stu, am I a suspect? <sighs> OK, tell me everything that you've told them. I just wish you'd call me sooner and I could have organised my well, day I could better. have caught a cab. Yeah, and how would that have looked? Like a guy catching a cab. Hi, Mr. Bakia. Yeah, it's Ben Gundelak. Yeah, look, I'm sorry. I couldn't finish painting the front room this morning. I, I know. But absolutely. It will be done tomorrow. I promise. Sorry. I had people ready to sign an offer on Highbrook Street. Well, I could have caught a cab. I don't even know if you were coming back. Why do they keep wanting to talk to you? 
wanted a DNA sample. No, I didn't give them one. Why should I? I didn't do anything. Jesus, Ben. What? Decided someone needs to look after the girls. Tasha's nearly 17 for Christ. Tasha's sake. upset. Hey, Angel. Go away. What's up? Responding to that shit's like throwing blood to sharks. I'm fucked. See, Tasha, you must treat these cretins like the bitches they are. You slap them down. Is that right, Malcolm? Little bitches, they love a good slapping. That's not a nice word. That's what they are, Uncle Malcolm. And now for some gravy. <laughs> Upload that little Rembrandt. Now you look back and laugh at all this. Not all of it. Maybe none of it. But it will blow over. Christy wants the girls. When did that happen? The night before last. Well, the night we went out. Before you. Found time. Oh, Christ, what a week. You can tell me stuff, you know. I'm not telling you now. Yeah. Homicide detectives today question Ben Gundelak, the man who allegedly found the body of murdered Brisbane boy Tom Manane. The four-year-old boy it off. was a regular visitor to the Gundelak household. Police have yet to lay charges. Sources close to the Manane family have told off. reporters they're grateful don't, for messages of support it. from neighbours and members of the public. Hmm. Oh, Ben! Vanessa. Sorry, I wasn't expecting you to be here. I thought the girls might be hungry. Oh. Thanks. Oh, um... Well, it will freeze. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Christine. So, um, any news from the police? Huh. Terrible business. Mm. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Good night. Good night. <clears throat> Has anyone gone to see Jess yet? We used to look after him. Jesus, Ben. Have you hired a lawyer, Mr. Gunderland? Mr. Gunderland. Are you expecting the police again, by the police? Are you going to visit Ms. Manane? Mr. Gunderland, please talk to us. Why are you going to speak to Jessica? Jess. Jess. Jess? Jess, it's Ben. Why doesn't she want to talk to you, Ben? Ben, Ben, did Ms. Manane give you any indication? 
And he was right there. Just here. Yep. Not there. I don't know. I mean, it all looks kind of the same in the dark. You have a torch? No. No phone. No. You have fun looking through our bins? You've called Jessica Manane's number twice in the last two days. Of course I have. You've been over to visit? I have every right to. Of course you do. I'm curious why you're not giving us a DNA sample. Serious, aren't you? I did it. Arrest me. How are we going over here? Yeah, I know, Mr. Bakir. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I'll have it tomorrow and I'll start the undercoating in the bedrooms. Yeah, tomorrow. I promise. She's a strong girl and we're a very close street. So we're all going to help each other through in this difficult time. Thank you for speaking to us. Jeez, Dad! Well, you got nothing better to do? Oh, these fucking vampires! What the hell is wrong with... Um, your Christmas tree. Sorry. How are you, Nelson? You open over Christmas? Open every day, yeah, I was the... Uh... 
dicho. Toma. Our agency won't charge you to advertise your property and we'll provide the signage free. Jeez, Eva? Can't find the decorations. Yeah. I'll get them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Because I have the recipe and I saw Jamie Oliver do it and I think I could do it. And Tasha could help if she wanted. No. And it wouldn't be messy. Sounds good, sweetheart. What do you want to cook, Mum? Whatever you want, sweetheart. It's boiling. I'm gonna have a swim. Hey. It's okay. Yeah. Ready? Hello. Nice. I know you didn't do it. Thanks, Chuck. Here. Let's light this sucker. Look here. My Ben. Hey. Sorry about the, uh, false start this week. Things have... Anyway, I'll be able to start on the big room tomorrow. Ben, how much do I owe you? Big pardon? For the work you've done, how much do I owe you? Still half the house left. Hell of a way to negotiate a discount. We'll finish up today. Operating with the police. I know. Look, I'll, I'll give them a call first thing. Okay, bye. Shit. What happened at work? Don't worry about it. You need to worry more about your work right now. I'll tee up more clients. If you don't work, you won't be able to make the mortgage payments. Unless you want to list the house straight away. I'm not selling a house. you got to stop thinking about it like that. Chris! Ben, do you realise how bad this all is? It'll blow over. What are you doing? Go back inside.
Hi, Mrs. Laidlaw. It's Ben Gundelak, the painter. Yeah, listen, I was just calling to see if you'd gotten around to getting you downstairs. OK. Hey, Mr. Barker. It's... Oh. OK, when is he...? Hi, Mr. Kovic. Ben Gundelak, the painter. Hello? Asshole. No, I'm doing a special this month on interior house painting. Well, exterior, too. Well, I don't mind. I can come quote. Yeah, well, if, but if I leave you my number, maybe that way you can still... OK. Yeah, but... <sighs> Shit. Hello, Ben's house painting. Mr. Gundelak. Ah! Ian Corneal. <clears throat> what do you want? I'm just checking in to see how you are. I didn't do anything! Yeah, fuck you! Ah. I believe you. Why? I know who did it. <laughs> 